Oh, fuck. I don't know what he's talking what? about. What? There's an ace in the hole. I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we had a deal. There I... is the ace in the hole. I told you. I Sodium salpentol. Are you familiar? Mm. No. Truth serum. Unpredictable stuff. Too little, nothing. I have Too nothing much. to tell the you. I don't even euthanized. know what an ace in the hole is. I am still playing with the dosage. Yeah, this is not going well. Whoa. This Whoa. world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made. And men who make it. What the hell is happening to us? Lobotomy transorbital? Oh, what? Folks say it's only a matter of time until Atlas's entire mob comes out waving the white flag. Two weeks. What? <coughs> You've been down two weeks, Love. Feckin' doctors. Better off hiring a million monkeys. Our deal was to get you out of prison. What, did you expect me to win your war for you too? I'd tend to your own knitting if I were you. Now, darling, being that you were Su Chong's lab assistant and all, why not tell me where me ace in the hole went to? I don't no one's know. explaining this to us. I'm no doctor. But that doesn't mean I don't find the field fascinating. I keep up on all the medical journals and the like. I hope you have someone to help you with all the big words. You know what part of the brain free will comes from? Stubbornness? The prefrontal... No, no, he's gonna use that thing we saw. Now, I think it's fair to say you're a bit of a stubborn one, are you not? A man named Steinman taught me this. He's a bit of a lunatic, but a fine surgeon. He calls this little trick a transorbital lobotomy. Oh my god. Take hold of her, lads. Ah! Oh. You're wasting your now, time. If you won't remain still, I can't be held responsible for what comes next. Oh God, no! You feel that? I'm moving the pick across your eyeball. Oh, still now, and resting it on your skull. There's about a bit over a quarter of an inch of bone between the pick and your prefrontal lobe. And that's where this little fella comes Oh, from. shit. Oh. Oh. It was just a wee tap. So uncomfortable. But I don't expect it'll take more than a few of those to reach the meat. And then we might find you a bit less the mule. Where's me ace in the hole? I don't know. You know right. what else rests in the lobe? Creativity. <laughs> Individuality. <laughs> personality. <laughs> in short, what makes you, you. <sighs> <sighs> I'm just about through now. Last chance, pet. Where is the ace? In the hole. <laughs> or what? Why do you put a hole in my head and take away my memories? You want to make me forget all this. You want to make me not care anymore. Go ahead. You'll be doing me a favor. Oh! Oh! Bring in the monster! You're a regular hero, ain't you? Can't risk ripping the only part of you that's worth a damn. Well, there's more than one way to fry an egg. Now, little woman. Oh are you shit, no. With the term transorbital lobotomy. Please let her it's go. It's a simple matter. 
All I need to is insert this pick into please, your arm. Please, I don't know and give anything. Two taps with me. Hand. I don't know anything. Better to show by example. Please, please don't. I, I don't know anything. I, I don't know. Big Daddy, please. we need a Big Daddy. Tell him what I don't know. Where are we? You saw all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. The ace in the hole. It's here. Yes. But, but I don't... I don't remember this place. You've never been here. Then how would I... The memories you lost, they weren't just of the past. You saw behind all the doors. So they're ingrained? Into the future. Going. If you want. I... I don't like it here. It's a bad place. He's never gonna let me go, is he? Even if I bring him the ace. Then why am I here? How if I was so smart? If I saw so much, why just send myself to the slaughter? For Sally. No, one day he will just rip her open and tear out her atom. All of this for nothing. Why did I do it? Why? You have to decide. Decide what? To take a leap of faith. I can't tell you what you were thinking because you don't remember. But you chose to come. There. In that room. The Ace. I don't know what to do, Booker. I... B Booker? Booker! No, please. Please just don't leave me here! We were having a tough time keeping it together here. Oh, Sally. Su Chong's clinic. It's at Su Chong's clinic. That's a bit convenient now. Ryan's got every turret in the place tuned to me and me man's genetic code. We'd be torn to shreds before we got ten feet. I guess That's I'll right. have to go. Which is why I'm gonna do it for you. You okay with that? Get me the ace. I'll wrap the brat in a silk ribbon. Bag her and bring her to my bathosphere. <sighs> One of the lads will show you how to get inside. <coughs> we'll be waiting for you where you come out. Shake a leg now. The Lord hates a laggard. I'm still not sure what the ace is. This is getting crazy. Here's the clinic. Let me just check. All right, nothing. Somebody's reading girly mags in here. The pearly gates, co-eds. It's never too late for an education. My education was not like that. Issue. Hydraulic fluid gases within drill cause subject to become unreliable, unstable. Launching options to be removed from drill in future models. Su Chong? What the hell were you thinking? Drinkable plasmids? We're burning through ten times the amount of atom compared to the injectables. And if you fail to notice, them sea slugs ain't exactly growing on trees. Switch back to the injectables and let the eggheads in marketing worry about selling it to the chumps. Here's the hair sample that we gave him. Oh, the Vita Chambers. 
Combination of plasmas reconstructed within a field of quantum entanglement results in fantastical restoration properties. I fast-tracked this project for immediate mass production and distribution throughout Rapture. This completes stage one. Note all chambers must be tuned to Andrew Ryan's specific genetic frequency before proceeding with distribution. Uh-oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You guys okay? Alright. Let's see here what we could do. It's okay. Stay away from him. He's scary. Look, it's it's okay. He he can't hurt anyone. Scary. Can you move? <laughs> can, can you just move a little bit for me? Don't. I, I don't know how to help you. I. I don't. No, he's. He's just hurt. Stay back there. He, he just needs somebody to 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 figure out how to fix him. I, maybe there's some. I don't know. Is there some documentation for him around here or something? How would they know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. This whole imprinting thing, like, he's been on about this in almost every single one of his experiments. Well, it's all, it's all organized around that, it seems. If stupid beasts had a half brain. They would realize they need little sister to live. Sisters secrete only kind of atom that is genetic match for them. No little sister, no big daddy. So now we're going to have to convince him. Let's just see if there happens to be anything else. Please, I, I don't know how to help him. He needs Adam. I, I don't have any of that. I, I don't know what to do. Going to die. Not fair. We can help. Yes, you can. <laughs> That's one way of imprinting. Exactly. Because that's what I was thinking about this whole time is... Because uh, they talked about the line with the thorn in his paw comparing it to uh, Songbird, I believe. Alright. You guys are good now. Oh, that's like a shark or something. Cognitive reconditioning steps. Undergo a series of reconditioning therapies. Free prefrontal cortex, visual cortex, 
All therapies have been outlined in Notebook 22A. Strict guidelines have been provided. Suchong, of all the things I know, I know this. It is in your power to be a different man. What can Ryan take from us that we have not already sacrificed at the Altar of Discovery? They are children, little sisters, and yes, they will forget. But you and I won't. The memories of what we have done fade only with the dimming of all lights. Tenenbaum. She's trying to convince him that it's not too late to... Uh-oh. Whoa, no. Break that sweet puppy's neck. No, please. Break that puppy's neck. Would you kindly? No. Would you kindly? No. Holy shit. Oh, man. Mind controlling from that early on. Client Ryan Industries. Very frustrating day. I can't seem to get the damn big daddies to imprint on the little brats. The protection bondage is just another forming. Get away. Whoa. Maybe if I modify the genetic sequence to. Sure. <clears throat> Uh, sequence to allow for Get away you filthy little shit Whoa. What? What are you doing? Get back! Get back! Whoa! Oh shit Well, he's imprinted. There's the ace. Hold on. What do we have here? A little waiting room. I can't leave without the ace. Okay, that's our if way I out. If I find it, then all of this would have been for nothing. Ace. This is it. This is the ace in the hole. All the pain. Well, what is it? And all of the death for this. How come we can't... Okay. Let's see if we can see anything about it. Nope. Take care of those two little girls, BD. This is so creepy. Is that them with her? Hey, sister, over here. Do you have it? I have it. Give it over then. I'm keen to get this brat off me hands. Oh shit. You know what? 
Andrew Ryan said I was a rube. But he was wrong. I'm not the rube, Atlas. You are. <laughs> we both know what happens next. Just get it over with. Well, love, if you insist. No! Yeah. Shit. Oh, I know what this is. What is this? It's just a bunch of gibberish. What, what does, does this say, you little whore? Oh. Oh, hey, hey, hey! What does this say? Yeah. Would you kindly? No way. Oh, shit. We've got the activation phrase. Now all we've got to do is get that genetic freak of nature on an airplane and rapture's ours. Yeah! the world entire. This is you who are the I can see all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them. Incredibly, I see him. No way. Oh, look at the, look at the wrist. No. Oh. Oh, 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 man. Oh, Ken Levine. Wow. Great job, Kenny. Great job, Kenny. Holy. Okay, so that's a lot to take in in that last little bit there. But is that to say that... So it was it was in... Uh, at the end of Bioshock, you could save the little girls in the bathysphere. And that's what we did. And then the man uh, who was there to save 
the little girls that when they got out there, that was um, Booker. And oh, wow, I'm it's it's really hard to like process it all, but I mean it's all about the constants and variables, right? It's like, um, but in order for her to go back to this point to save uh, Sally and and write this stuff, she had to go back to like her normal self without all the tears, without all of this. And it kind of similarly, it makes me think, I don't know why immediately it makes me think of um, the Lutess, the male Lutess, uh, who had to go back to his regular self and presumably, you know, has has died or what have you. Um, but it does make me wonder, would she still be in an alternate, like, could she still be in other universes or now is, is Elizabeth done okay. for good? See the pyramids along the Nile Watch the sun rise from a tropic isle Just remember, darling, all the while You belong to me See the marketplace in old Algiers Send me photographs and souvenirs Just remember when a dream appears You belong to me And I'll be so alone Without you, maybe you'll be lonesome too and blue. Fly the ocean in a silver plane, see the jungle when it's wet with rain. Just remember till you're home again You belong to me I'll be so alone without you Maybe you'll be lonesome too And blue Fly the ocean in a silver plane See the jungle when it's wet with rain Just remember to your home again You belong to me Yeah? Maybe not it. Can I clap? <laughs> <laughs> what a perfect way to end it. Like, it's just, it's just, 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 it's, it's bittersweet. Like, I don't know. I'm going to miss these Bioshock worlds. And like, even though we came back to Rapture, it's, it's a different... It was a different quality of Rapture. I feel like this Infinite game is the... Like, this small DLC is the best game. I just feel like it... it even that the moment we started, and you just look around and you're like, oh my god, like, look at what they've done in that kind of idealistic Paris, right? Incredible. Like, the amount of work that has gone into this is just mind-blowing. And... Uh, it's really sad that there's not going to be any more of these games. Uh, on one hand, it's like I don't I wouldn't want them to go any further with the BioShock name just because it's like okay, you've done the multiverse thing 
and it's been awesome. Now do something else. But it's just these worlds they've made are so crazy good. And uh, I really hope that that Ken Levine and his team decide to do something else in the future that is equally as impressive. And I'm sure that they will. Uh, but they're going to have a lot to live up to. A lot to live up to. I'd have to say, um, out of all of the series, so Bioshock, uh, Bioshock 2, Minerva's Den, Infinite, and then Burial at Sea 1 and 2, I have to say... I just got to turn this down. I have to say that the original Bioshock, that just did it for me the most. I just, because it was so fresh and so new at that point where it was just like, oh my God. And you know what I really liked about the first Bioshock is that the story was really interesting, lots of twists and turns, but it wasn't difficult to follow. Whereas with Infinite, um, the story was really good once you kind of got to process it. And I haven't played Bioshock Infinite again for a second time, but there would probably be a lot of things that were like, oh, like little foreshadowings and things like that. But with Bioshock, they just made it such a strong story that they didn't need to rely on kind of that whole multi... I shouldn't say... This sounds negative, but they didn't rely on a multi-universe platform where you can kind of do anything and then make it work. Uh, it was just a really, really solid story from beginning to end. And the gameplay was fantastic. Um, and it, it's been out for so long. Like, think about it. That game, I would have recommend to anybody that hasn't played it. You have to play Bioshock on its own. And if, honestly, if you haven't played it and you've just watched the, the uh, videos on YouTube, you're doing yourself a disservice. You got to play it and experience it. It's, it's really, really well made. But uh, I just want to say, guys, thank you very much for, for checking out this series. It was a blast for me. I had a ton of fun with it. And I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing what this team does next. I really, really am. And uh, if you guys ever hear anything, hit me up and let me know right away. Because I want to be all over that. But uh, without further ado, it is time to wish Bioshock farewell. It sucks to say that. But uh, farewell.